Okay, in this video, we're going to go ahead and cover trackbacks. And I'm also going to walk you through the steps that you need to take in order for you to post trackbacks to other blogs successfully. Trackbacks are basically a way to notify other blogs that you have linked to them and that there's another page out here on the Internet with some relevant information. But technically, we don't have any relevant information. We're just going to be sending out some fake or some phony trackbacks to these blogs so we can get some one way backlinks. So this method, as you can probably see, can be frowned upon amongst a lot of people. You definitely want to test this out yourself to see if it's something that's worth incorporating into your link building plan. Also, another downside to track back posting, besides the fact that it's frowned upon by so many people, is the fact that you could piss off a lot of blog owners and that AskMet or however you pronounce that, you all know what I'm talking about. They're really hip to the track back, track back spam, and they greatly reduce the number of track backs to get through. So you want to test this and see, like I said before, if this is worth incorporating into your link building plan. Also, what I wanted to bring to your attention is the fact that during my testing, track back links don't generally pass sufficient link juice. And I want to say that it's safe to say that it doesn't pass any link juice, but you would have to test it out yourself. And also what you want to keep in mind is if you're incorporating this into your plan is, is it worth your while of getting your proxies blacklist by AskMint? So you test it, you see what works, but I wouldn't spend too much time trying to leverage this method for link building purposes. I'm just being honest with you and I'm sure you can appreciate that. So let me show you how trackbacks work in the real world, and then we'll move on to how to successfully use Scrapebox to post trackbacks. The way that it works in the real world is, let's just say that you see an interesting article on my blog, and then you write your own article or your own blog post, which links to mine. So you can kind of think of trackbacks like the equivalent of an acknowledgement or a reference at the end of an academic paper. Trackbacks were originally developed by Six Apart, which are the same creators of the movable type blog platform or blog package. And in a nutshell, trackbacks were designed to provide a notification between two websites. So your blogging platform will send a trackback ping to my blog, which contains your name or keyword in our instance, the URL of your website and a short comment. My blogging software will then receive a trackback ping and automatically insert a link back to your blog from my site, which is a backlink, of course. So it's kind of sweet. You know, you can get some backlinks, but like I said before, in my testing, the link juice and the increased possibilities of getting my proxies banned um, outweighs a lot of my decision making when using trackback. So you should use this feature cautiously. I just want to put those disclaimers out there. But if you click on this drop down arrow right in the harvester panel, you can scroll down and you can scroll down to you can leave a response or a track back. That's the footprint that we want to use to find other blogs where we can post our track backs to. Then we can go ahead and enter, enter some keywords into the keyword list. And then we also want to make sure that we have the WordPress radio button checked. And you can also go ahead and click on start harvesting. Once it's complete, we can go ahead and click on OK and we can go ahead and click on remove duplicates and remove duplicate domains. Next, we want to go ahead and click on the track back radio button under the comment poster section. And as you can see here that there are only three available options, the other two options of the five are gray out. So what we want to do is go ahead and click on open under the first option. Let's click on the scrape box folder, navigate to your default scrape box folder. Let's open up the track backs folder and let's double click on the your blogs text link. The next option track back excerpt. Let's go ahead and click on open, navigate to your default scrape box folder and let's click on track back excerpts and let's do the last thing for the blog list. Navigate to that folder and let's import the blog text list. And for these examples, for the titles and for the URLs that we're going to be posting to and posting back to, I already have some sample WordPress blogs set up and I want to just show you how we do this here. Let's go ahead and click on this E right next to the your blogs field. Open that up and in the first line, let's enter in arts title test. 
That is the name of the website that we're going to be entering in. The arts and entertainment info is one of my test blog sites. Let's go ahead and click on apply. The difference between the apply and the save apply is when you click on the apply button, changes will be made to the list, but not actually saved to disk. So your original files, your original text files, it's in that scrape box folder will not be altered. Just your current session files will be saved. When you click on the save and apply, it will apply the necessary changes to the file, which will then be saved to the disk for future use. So those are the difference there for this instance. Let's just go ahead and click on apply and we can move down to the excerpt list and press on the E or click the E to edit that list. And for the title, which is line one, let's just go ahead and put in title of related post test. Just going to do that so that you can see when I show you the example after I post what goes in what field. So you'll know what this looks like on the other end. And for the spin con, uh, the spin text excerpts, we're just going to go ahead and leave the default. I saw this really great, good post to elaborate on that a little bit. <clears throat> if you click on this, what you see is what you get mode. You can go ahead and click that you have the option to spin your text titles and your excerpts if you are to click on this first line which is title of a related post the title of a related post test is what we have and you go up to this top box you double click on title you click on these curly braces which is the spinner text markers you can go ahead and put in your spin text so instead of title we can just put post just to give you an example related and click your spinner text marker or your curly braces instead of related uh, we just put in similar just to give you an idea you can then click on the preview button and then click on the spin and you will see the difference between your different spin text there so that's what you can do under the what you see is what you get mold in order to get out of here eh, you want to click on preview again and then go ahead and click on OK now let's go ahead and click on apply to make sure that we save those changes and let's move on down to the third box which is the targeted list where we want to send comments to where we want our track back to appear on their site back to our website which is a one-way backlink technically because remember that these are fake trackbacks and we want to enter in the url that we want to target and i already have a wordpress targeted blog set up like i said we enter that in go ahead and click on apply and go ahead and click on send trackbacks scrape box will let you know that the trackbacks have been complete let's click ok and if we scroll over here we'll see that scrape box has successfully sent our track back to our test blog now let's go ahead and just click on this e and get a copy of this url that we use and let's go out here to the internet paste that url in let's go visit that blog and see what our track back looks like and here it is right here 